Welcome to the factory, Roger. Oh, thank you, Doug. What do you have for me here today? Our first petaflop factory. Hey, what's this? Wow. This is fantastic. Roger, don't touch anything. You're already going to get me in trouble for not wearing a hairnet. Is this the Pontevecchio factory? It is. Wait till you see what I have in here. These are the prototypes for Ponvecchio GPU. Wow, this looks amazing. You're the first person to see it. We're even putting trackers on each one of them so they can't be lost. Are these the trackers? They are. How oh, cool. We use it for all our high value assets. Amazing. What's in there? Oh, that's not for you. That's what we use to debug the GPUs. Can I see it? Oh, no, not for you, Raja. You've been holding out on me, Doug. No! Oh, what was that? Where am I? Could this be Ponte Vecchio? I hope the GPU is okay. Have you found him yet? No. No. Ah, should be small, smaller than an ant. Micro bumps. I hope they're not dumb enough to turn on the power rails. Let's turn it on. What is happening? So, so much energy. So much power. I feel like I can do anything. Got to get to the menu before I'm toast. I feel superhuman. Got to get to the top. Wow, this is beautiful. This GPU is going to change the world. This is so much better than the marketing photography. Raja, oh, thank God you're alive. Lucky for you, I gave you that tracker. Doug, we really nailed the thermal engineering here. This is awesome. What? We're bringing you home now. No. Oh, what a rush. That was fun. Hello, everyone. It is great to see you all. Thank you for joining us for our third Architecture Day. Me and my fellow architects and engineers are so happy to be with you virtually. However, I'm so, so looking forward to doing this with you all live in the same room and immerse in deep geeky conversations over some quality ice cream and hot wings. I just literally dove into one of our new architectures. That video was super fun to make, by the way. We had to bend many laws of physics, like shrinking me to micron level. There was some time travel involved as well. And this video was made in 2019, a couple of years before we had our first silicon based on this architecture. Yes, this is true. We did this to kick off a moonshot architecture, to inspire our engineers to build something awesome. Speaking of architects, this is an awesome time to be a computer architect. Technology is changing the world at a torrid pace. Looking back at just the last year, technology was at the heart of how we all communicated, worked, played, and survived through the pandemic. Enormous computing power proved crucial. We witnessed the development of life-saving vaccines, advances in computer vision, cryptocurrencies, decentralized finance, augmented reality, and space travel. And it's accelerating. We are seeing MetaHumans, GitHub Copilot, software creating software, and this little thing called AI. Some of these saved lives, others altered our lifestyles, some are game-changing, and some controversial. No matter where you look, our lives are intertwined with digital technology. Every demanding workload we look into and every innovating customer we talk to have one meta performance ask, thousand asks. 
they ask, can you make our workloads 1,000x faster by 2025? So that's just four years away. 1,000 times is more slow to the power of five. And that sounds impossible, right? How will we do that? To meet this 1,000x demand by 2025, we will need to achieve the minimum Moore's law improvement, 4x or so, in each of these technology areas, process, packaging, memory, and interconnect. And architecture. Architecture is the alchemy that brings them all together with software. And together, they give us the multiplicative factor. So all those 4x improvements could combine to give us the 1,000 times we need for demanding workloads. This is just an illustration to show why it's an exciting time to be an architect. And speaking of architects, Pat Gelsinger recently rejoined us as CEO. And he is a renowned architect. Pat reminds us that what we do is important because the world is counting on engineers to solve the most difficult problems, to enrich people's lives, to make them happier, healthier, safer, and to architect our silicon at the speed of software, which means a torrid pace. We have a rich selection of compute engines to choose from, several flavors of scalar vector matrix and spatial engines to combine and make hybrid computing architectures that deliver nonlinear gains on demanding workloads. When we leverage the best transistor for a given engine, connect them through advanced packaging, integrate high bandwidth, low power caches, equip them with high capacity memories and low latency interconnect, we have hybrid computing clusters in a package. Every product I look at in our roadmap looks like collection of systems on packages. Products ranging from watts to kilowatts. Today, my fellow architects will share our advances in accelerated hybrid computing with architectures that establish new foundations in products whose releases are imminent. You'll hear about one of the biggest shifts in x86 architecture in over a decade. We will begin by introducing two next generation x86 core microarchitectures. First, we will present the Efficient Core, a highly scalable microarchitecture optimized for multi-core performance per watt. Next, we'll present the Performance Core optimized for single-threaded performance and AI. Then we will walk you through the architectural magic that combines these two cores to deliver our first performance hybrid architecture, Alder Lake, which will delight billions of PC users. You'll hear about the advances we are making in visual computing architectures with XEHPG and our discrete graphics. Later, we will look at a new accelerated hybrid architecture designed for data center, Sapphire Rapids, which combines our performance cores with new accelerator cores. Next, we'll show you Mount Evans IPU, infrastructure processing unit. This is the beginning of hybrid infrastructure computing in a package and we'll close it with the tour de force of all the latest silicon technologies, our moonshot, Ponte Vecchio.